Hi guys, welcome to Webzeta. Last time we looked at some of the bindings like dimensions, this, etc. In this one, we'll look at how we can use bind on media elements uh, to control the media. So when I say media element, it's usually audio or video. So I'm gonna start with a blank page and I'll have a video tag. And video tags usually um, have a source That's the video uh, source and well before that usually you know it has a poster so I can have that as well to have it here itself so I have this uh, just somebody created um, I have, I'll get the poster from here which is called thumb here I'll put that and uh, I have the link to the video as well I'll put that in source now this is too big I'm gonna make it small a video I can have a max width I think of 400 pics this should be fine now uh, if you have something called controls on, uh, on video or audio elements you will get all these control buttons that you can uh, use to play change the volume uh, make it full screen and other things uh, but let's say you want to control uh, with your own buttons or elements you can just remove that and bind things that are available in a video tag to your own variables and control it now it's it says there is track kind options is missing I'll just copy that and paste it inside video so that that goes away okay so this isn't important there is something called paused uh, which is the state of the you know video playback status uh, which can be accessed through JavaScript but in Swelt it becomes uh, pretty easy so I'll bind paused to a variable called uh, I'll call the same thing paused all right I'll also have a button here and I'll call that play okay so once this is clicked on click we would like to run a function play video okay and I'll create that function here and before I create the function I have to declare pause so let pause and the function cons play video equals now what it does is if uh, paused uh, whatever the pause state is it will just revert that so pause will have uh, true or false so you can just uh, change that and calling this play is not a good idea because when you play it it become it should become pause let's see what happens um, paused paused maybe I should assign it to true first so that you know um, it is paused and then when I click on it it will become uh, false then it starts playing let's check that okay it starts playing if I click on it again it pauses okay uh, that is done. Maybe I don't need a function to do that. I can just have this here itself uh, Since it is like a single line uh, we don't need all those Things yeah, let's see if it works. It still works Yeah, it works uh, now I don't want to display play here when it is playing so we'll check the pause status pause if it is true it is paused which means have to click on play else pause okay now it is paused it says play I click on it it starts playing uh, and then I click on it it will pause and it shows play okay this is good you can also show different icons if you don't want text um, all right that is uh, that is working so this is how easy it is to you know play and pause an audio or video 
Another thing is, you know, play button is going all over the place. So I'll have a division outside. I'll enclose everything inside that division. I will uh, style that division to uh, grid. And make sure everything is centered. All right, now play is in the middle. Uh, it still works. All right, now that is done. Let me uh, bind volume of this so that I can change it. So I'll have an input which will control the volume. Uh, type should be kind of like range so that I can increase or decrease. And uh, it binds its value to volume. So volume is not declared yet. So I'll have that volume and let the initial volume be zero and similar to you know paused we have volume here okay now uh, maybe it is a better idea to show the volume what it is right now yeah now i'll play there is no sound if i increase it oh it isn't changing why is that okay so I'll just change this to max equals one. Maybe step uh, equals point 0.1 or point 0.01. Should be okay. Let me see. If... Okay, so that was the issue. All right, this is full sound, and I can change in between. So while showing the volume, I'll change that to maybe I'll multiply that with hundred uh let's see what happens okay so some values are like going yeah showing too many digits i can fix that um dot two fixed i think fixed two or two fixed two fixed to two i think yeah this is good or I don't want to fix here. I can just use uh, math top floor. Let me use that. That should do it. Okay. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, it works. Uh, everything is working as expected. Um, the next thing is there are some um, bindings that are only readable. Uh, something like uh, things like duration right so you can get that into a variable we'll call that duration and let duration and we cannot assign it to anything because it's uh, only readable I'll just uh, try to show that here just above the button uh, I'll have a p tag Duration. Okay, uh, it's showing in seconds, I believe. I'll divide that by 60 and see what happens. Okay, it's 9.94 minutes. Here I may have to uh, fix it to two digits. Dot to fixed. Okay. Uh, now, another thing is current time. I can bind that as well. I can show it here. Bind current time so uh, where exactly the video is right now uh, on which uh, timings I'll bind that to current time itself uh, let current time equals zero okay so something has happened is not declared what is not declared okay this should be fine now I'll show that in the same paragraph current time I'll show a slash okay so I'll have to fix that as well I'll have dot to fixed to two digits okay seems to be working it shows seconds uh, 
I don't know if I want that. What if it goes on till minutes? So I wouldn't need that. So I'll divide that by 60. And now what happens? Okay, so this should be fine. Yeah, and I increase the volume. Nice. So we have uh, some of the controls here. Uh, I would like you to try other bindings that are available. Um, I will leave a link to the description where you can find all the controls, all the bindings. Maybe try on your own. Um, something like you know, clicking on the video should play, uh, and clicking on it again should pause, like how it is in YouTube. Uh, you can try different things so yeah that's it guys uh, this is how you can bind uh, media elements in swelt so i'll see you in the next one bye